Yo, yo, what is going on, guys? What is going on? We are back with another jam-packed day of some NBA hoops. We got a big slate today as opposed to yesterday where we had six games. So I'm looking forward to get into the plays today. I got my top two plays, and those plays are going to be on LeBron James and Holly Burton. In just this video, we're going to get into what those plays are and why I like them. But before I get into that, if you are new to Price Picks, there's a code below. Sign up and if you deposit your first hundred dollars, they'll match you up to a hundred percent of that, right? So you throw in a hundred, you get an extra hundred to play with. You know, it's basically free money. So if you're not signed up, take advantage of that. All the promos that Prize Picks offers. Taco Tuesday yesterday, actually, which we will talk about in this video as well, right? But before we dive into today's play, let's do a recap on yesterday and what happened. We killed it, man. We had a great day. You can see here we cashed four out of five of the plays that we picked. Both of the top plays hit. So what I did was I bundled those up together, cashed there. And then the four out of five, I cashed there as well. We pretty much doubled our money there, right? But I bundled up a couple of those plays with some Taco Tuesdays, right? And only one out of the three Taco Tuesdays hit the job Barrett over 22 or 21 points, right? But those Taco Tuesdays, Tuesdays is where I absolutely crush it. I take my top plays from here. And I just bundle those up into two-man plays with the tacos. And it's been hitting at a crazy rate this year. I believe the tacos are hitting at about 80% on the year, right? But to yesterday, man, we killed it. We, we absolutely killed it. Just looking here, the only person we didn't hit was Shea. Shea Alexander, like I said, it's scary to take those unders on the superstar players, and he made me pay for it. But the top two, as y'all know, I love the less than turnovers. I play plays sometimes that a lot of people don't play. They may stay away from like the three-pointers, made unders and overs, the turnovers, the steals, the block. I like going towards those plays, you know? Something just draws me to them. And then a lot of times my numbers kind of give me, shows me that there's the best value in those plays, right? But moving on to today's plays for the day, let's jump right into it. So first, I just want to say DGF or Daily Grind is the absolute best when it comes to finding those values, finding those lines, finding those plays. It can really help you take hundreds of lines every day and really break those down into maybe your best 25, your best 50, your best 10. And then from there, you can dive deeper on the research on who you want to go with or if you, if you even want to play the top plays on here that's an option as well right and so you can see here like if we're just going to prize picks or we're going to underdog whichever site you play on right you have the chance to tweak it however you like you can just go to top odd to hit right and these are your top plays now i don't play it that way some people do and some people win with you know i like to take the best values I see across the board, and I throw those into a spreadsheet where I do my own analysis, right? I do my own grading based on a number of different things we'll talk about in this video towards the later end, right? But DGF Daily Grind, if you're not on it, use the code SHARK, you'll get 25% off your first month and see if it's a fit for you, you know, get in there and mess around with it. But let's get into some of the good stuff. Let's get into the plays for the day, the top play of the day. We're going to get that in a second, but let's go with my second best play of the day first, right? And it's going to be on a superstar in the league, Halle Burton. And Halle Burton, so they are playing the Milwaukee Bucks tonight, right? And you can see here, the line is a minus three and a half. The Bucks are on the road. And they just played recently as well, which is why I like this play. They played a couple of times this year, actually which is another reason why I like this play, right? So Halle Burton, the play is going to be three and a half made. We are going less than here, right? We are going less than. And so diving into the numbers here, you can see Halle Burton, his three and a half made. This is pulled to his last 30, right? He's only hidden. His over is only hidden at 37%. So his last 15 He's only went over 27% of the time, so the under is crushing it. But what I'm liking about this matchup here is Milwaukee plays him super tough. You can see here they play on December 7th. They actually play here November 9th. So they played, it looks like, four times this year. 
but he's gone under three out of four in his last two. He only made one three pointer in both of those games. So Milwaukee is just absolutely tough when it comes to the D. So in points scored, they're on the lower end of the league. But when it comes to three points and three point percentage, they're top five in three point percentage and top 10 in three points allowed per game. So Milwaukee, I'm banking on them being a tough matchup defensively as they have been already. It's been proven in this season. They've been a tough matchup to Halliburton when it comes to three points, right? When it comes to three pointers. So I'm liking this play a lot. This is going to be one of the plays that I'm going to be bundling up with my top play of the day, which let's get into now. A man that needs no introduction, really. LeBron James. And this is an interesting play here, right? Like I said, I play a little lines that some people may stray away from, but I like playing like the turnover lines. I absolutely love those. And we get two out of two on those yesterday. But, and LeBron James actually had an under. The other night, under three and a half turnovers, they only had one turnover. But we are going to go block shots under here. And the reason I'm liking this play is because one, it's heavy juiced. All the odds makers have this like minus 130 and over, which we will get into right now as well, right? But if you look here at the spread, let's dive in here. The Lakers have a minus five and a half. But keep in mind that Jimmy Butler is also going to be out. So that's going to give the Lakers more of a spread, I would think. I don't know if they've adjusted that yet, or it could be, but I'm predicting this to be a blowout for the Lakers. The Heat could play them tough, but I'm thinking this is going to be more of a 10 to 15 point win for the Lakers. Could be wrong, right? I am at times, but that's what I'm predicting. So that's what I'm basing my playoff, which is LeBron will get less minutes. And if you see here on his blocks, he has been not the worst when it comes to blocks. He gets his blocks, right? If you see over his last 30, he's right at 50%. So He's right on that borderline of getting a block per game and not getting a block per game, right? And hitting that, hitting that line. So another thing I like on this game is when it comes to the pace of play of the Miami Heat, you can see they're 98.24. So they're slowest. They're basically top five slowest team in the league when it comes to pace of play, which is going to work to our advantage because there's going to be less shot attempts, you know, and it's going to give LeBron less shots to actually get a block right so we just need him to not get a block he gets a block for a ton basically but i'm liking this play you know and let's dive into dgf this is why i love this site so much because you can dive in and see exactly where these lines are and you can see this is a positive ev plus play 53.99 percent dgf has the line of their algorithm basically taking the average of these at minus 140, which is amazing odds, right? And then DraftKings minus 135, Bet MGM minus 140, Bovana minus 135. So heavy odds on these books, right? So that's going to be our top play of the day here. And let's go to Halliburton. You can see here he's at 53.63%. All the odds they hit. Pinnacle minus 136, DraftKings minus 135, Bet MGM minus 135 as well boom so there you have it now with our top two plays of the day and what i do is i take these things further you know i take my top two i bundle those up together and then i throw it also to a line of five players and the last two nights we have hit four out of five on both of our five man plays right so we have been crushing it this week and the new year's the start of the new year's right we just need one more of those to, to cash, man, so we can get that five for five. But basically, we're eight out of 10 on our last picks individually. So let's dive in here to what we're going to pair this up with, right? And like I said, yesterday's video, I'm a little sick, starting to get over it. So the voice is a little raspy. So bear with, bear with. And we got Mike Conley here. We're going to be going less than on the 20 and a half points rebounds assist against new orleans i'm liking this play a lot next up to bat we got jacob and i can never say his name right poeto you know correct me if i'm wrong saying his name all wrong i always mess up his name but 
we're gonna go less than on nine and a half points and you can see a trend here i'm i'm a i'm a i'm an under guy a lot of people don't like that i'm i'm always on the unders a lot of the time the less thans i am on overs often just not as much i would say it's probably a 60 40 split between unders and to top this play off right we are going scotty barnes here on less than <laughs> 20 and a half points we're gonna have a, a combo play in that memphis and toronto game right so this is what i'm rolling with man this is gonna be my top five plays of the day with these top two Halle burton and lebron as the top two for the day that's what we're gonna be rolling with and there you have it boom and there you go guys that's gonna be our place for january 3rd we are bringing in the new year's with two winning straight days we have been killing it this year we want to continue this run all year if you're new to the channel i go through my plays like this every single day i'm breaking down my top two my top five plays why i like them why i'm on them so if you are following along if you're trying to put in these plays make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell because as I drop these videos, these lines change. They go up, they go down, they get taken off completely. There's times where I try to go put these in later in the day and the line has gone up maybe two or three points or it's just gone completely, right? And I got to switch up what I'm doing. So this is it for the day, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment, help this channel grow so we can get it out to more people. The more, the more people that can see it, the more we can all win together. And that's the name of the game when it comes to prize picks, right? Just win the day, win the week, win the month, win the year. That's going to be it, guys. Y'all have a good one. Take care.